I've been called the MacGyver of Twitch. And I don't know if I should be making this video because I don't know if I should encourage people to do as I do. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Valiant13, and this is something a little different. So, typically what I've posted on YouTube in the past is like, episodes of the podcast that me and some of my friends do or gameplay videos or highlights from twitch or goofy little skits that i do stuff like that um this is something a little different i routinely take things that i have laying around the house and i like to get as much value as i can out of them i don't like to throw things away if i can avoid it i don't like to spend money on new stuff if i can put it off a little bit longer so this is a way to kind of get more utility out of a, uh, a cheaper microphone um this is my Logitech USB rock band microphone from 2007. <laughs> yeah, it's not great, but it's what I used for a very long time on Twitch uh, because of my headset mics that I had would variously break for one reason or another. The one I'm wearing right now is broken, honestly. I don't even know. Why am I even wearing a headset right now? I'm making a video. Mm, how's my hair? Oh, back on topic, um, these are just two simple tricks you can do in OBS, two little software tweaks that you can make to get an improvement from even a rock band mic. You can even make that sound decent, let alone a mic like I'm using now, which is my Turtle Beach streamer mic, um, which is a, I think it costs about $80 now, USB microphone. Um, it's not... Honestly, if I was going to do it all over, I probably would have got a different one, but I do I do like this mic, but there are ones that give you more value for a little more cost, and I wish I would have invested a little bit more. But if you can't afford to do that, like I can't right now, this is what I would recommend you do. So before we get started on the actual filters in OBS, I want to show you how to make sure that your mic is at an appropriate level to begin with so that you're not too loud in Discord, you're not too loud in game, you're not too loud on stream, before we even worry about filtering out background noise. So you can obviously adjust, you know, your microphone bar on the stream at any point. But if you have it set appropriately through Windows, it's never going to be an issue anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click the volume icon there. You're going to open sound settings. You know, sound control panel. That's going to pull this up you're gonna go over to recording. You're going to find your active microphone. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of microphones that have been or are connected currently. Um, you only need to worry about the one that you're actually using. In this case, that's a Logitech USB microphone. Again, that's my rock band mic. So you're going to right click on that. You're going to select properties and go to levels. Now, while you're doing this, you're going to want to listen to what you sound like. So here's how I'm going to do that. So this is now i mean you can hear it through my uh, laptop which i'm using to record you can hear that hiss in the background now i'm not going to be able to get rid of that um through windows i'm sorry i hate the echo right i hate listening to the device because it makes me it fucks with my speech patterns. Like, my rhythm's off. You can hear it. I'm stuttering. I'm fumbling and mumbling and bumbling my way through this part. So, that's what I want you to do. I'm not going to do it <laughs> for the rest of this. So... That was horrible, and I apologize, but it's a necessary step in adjusting the, the volume. So for me, the appropriate volume I found is about 65. And if I go much more than that, then I'm actually getting much more background noise that I'm going to have to get rid of. I go lower than that, and I'm too quiet. Now, I actually, if I go down to about 45, I don't hear the static anymore by default. But then you can't hear me in anything. I would have to put a bunch of gain on my microphone in OBS to fix it, and that would just reintroduce the static and make it even worse. So we're not going to worry about that. We're simply going to go 
volume level 65, that's the appropriate setting for me. It's gonna be different for you. It's gonna be different depending on your mic, your pop filter, your room, um, your, your vocal patterns, honestly, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that. And in order to get to this screen here, you right click on microphone, you select properties, or not properties, I'm sorry. You select filters, and that's gonna pull up this window for you. So the two filters that you need to be familiar with are noise gate and sound suppression noise suppression, whatever. They're the two most important ones in terms of filtering out sound for your microphone. So your noise gate is going to determine when your microphone is going to cut on and off, right? So what that means is, you know, you can, you can hear it when I'm not speaking. My microphone turns off almost entirely. You're not hearing the background of the room. That's due to the noise gate on this mic. This mic actually has a built-in noise gate um, in its software that you install, but there also is one in OBS and not every microphone out there has software that comes with it. So uh, it's something that I highly recommend you play with. Um, for me, these are the right numbers, you know, negative 41 closed threshold, negative 35 open threshold. That's what I have actually on both computers and it's relative to the room that I'm in and the amount of noise that I just generate naturally moving around and stuff. It's not going to cut out things like if you bang on your desk, move your mouse. Uh, you know, if you if you keep your mouse next to your microphone or your microphone's on a little stand on your desk, it's not going to cut that out. That's not going to go away. What that's going to do is it's going to take away a lot of the background noise. Like for me, um, my office space is also in my basement. So we've got, you know, the, the chest freezer down here. We've got a washer and a dryer down here. We've got the HVAC system down here. These are all noises that I need to filter out of the background that thankfully my mic doesn't normally pick up. However, on days where that stuff's going behind me, it's important that my mic's not just, you know, that you're not hearing my clothes dry on a, on a Monday morning or whatever. Uh, the other one that you're gonna to wanna to do is noise suppression. So noise suppression is how you remove static from a cheaper microphone that the noise gate's not taken care of that you can't get to um, an appropriate level in the volume settings to kind of filter it out naturally. You know, you gotta be loud enough that people can hear you, but you don't wanna have that nasty static hiss. So for me, the number that I've settled on is negative 10 for that. Again, I don't really use this microphone for recording, but I also don't use this computer that you're seeing OBS on for recording either. Um, that's not what I use, it's my gaming computer. So it's not super important that I have this number right, but I did for the purposes of getting ready to do this video, I went through and I made sure that it sounded decent. It didn't sound great. It's not gonna sound great. It's a rock band microphone from 2007, but it did sound okay. So I'm gonna go through and actually show you um, what that sounds like by recording from the other computer. So you're not gonna see me on this part because obviously my camera is hooked up to my laptop, which is what I use for recording. Um, but I will put the video in there with what the different settings sound like. Okay, so when it comes specifically to the noise suppression, I mean, it's, it's just important really to have the filter on there. You're gonna wanna play with it a little bit and make sure that it sounds good. What I like to do is I like to say a test recording with the different you know settings that I have every time I put one on. That way I kinda can hear directly what it sounds like. But as you can hear here, there is a difference between negative 30 and negative 60. And that's, you know, as far as it goes, the default is negative 30, negative 60 is as far down as it goes. And there is a difference between that and negative 10. And there's obviously gonna be a difference between that and zero. Because zero is gonna mean no suppression, right? But, honestly, it's really just important to have the suppression on there because that's gonna remove that's gonna take away some of that static noise that you may be experiencing with a cheaper microphone. That's gonna do it for this video. Um, you know, if you enjoyed the content, please, you know, subscribe, leave it a like. And uh, if you have any questions about other stuff like this, other tips and tricks you can do in terms of OBS, um, other ways that you can get extra utility out of cheaper stuff, you know, ask in the comment section down below. If I don't know, maybe I'll look into it and see if I can come up with a, with a good topic for it. Um, I do make gaming videos as well. Those aren't going to be as common these days. I want to do more stuff like this, more kind of sit down tutorial type things. 
Um, I do stream gameplay over on Twitch. You know, right now, like I said, eventually I want that schedule to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Wednesdays as well. Currently, it's every day until I'm kind of back in the swing of things. Um, at some point here, I do want to get a 24-hour stream in the books. I do have to just find a babysitter for my kids, essentially, and then we'll make that happen. Um, if that does happen, I'll put it in the Discord, put it on Twitter, and probably uh, spout about it on Twitch for like three weeks before we do it. So I look forward to that. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys over there, and have a great rest of your night. Thanks. said rest of your night bro it's 6 30 in the morning fuck <laughs>